a lot of people <coughs> believe that you have to learn the multiplication tables by rote memory. Just repeat them, repeat them, repeat them, repeat them, and that's the only way to do it. We started with the ones and twos on the easy times table. Now, if you weren't here, then all we did is by patterns using the numbers 1 to 10, we created the numbers 1 down to 32 and the twos from 2 down to 64. Now, today, we're going to make the threes, fours, sixes, and eights out of really simple patterns so kids can own multiplication tables. So we're going to start out. The threes, the odd numbers are over here next to the one. The threes are going to be right there. And where we're going to find all the answers for all these in the ones and twos column. So because it's odd, we'll find the threes in the ones column. So all we do is we go down the ones column and we find our first three, which is right here. We create our three right there. And pattern is empty box, empty box three. Simple. Well, let's make it even simpler. A dot, dot, three. Okay? One three is three. Our pattern is dot, dot, three. You can do it the start of this if you want. Or you can watch it, whatever you want. The second three is six. Well, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. So two threes are six. No kid's going to argue with that. It's a simple, it's just the way it is. All right? That pattern, dot, dot, three, if you just continue that down, kids love to patterns. They love to just repeat things like that. So there you go. There's all of them. So three threes, three plus three plus three is nine. Three plus three plus three plus three, four threes are twelve. Five threes are fifteen. So it's really simple. And ten threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten threes are thirty. That's what really seals it in for kids. Okay, they buy it. Say, well, how much are seven threes? Well, let's do something first. Let's number the threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So how much are seven threes? You just go down to the seventh three, which you already numbered. You look right next to it, there's 21. Oh, how much are... Nine threes. Nine threes are 27. Kids have no problem because they can always go back to adding by threes. So it's really simple for kids. Also, dot, dot, three. Dot, dot, three, one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> wow. All right? So you have a visual, you have an, uh, a kinesthetic, and you have an audio connection with the threes. So let's go on to the fours. The fours are an even number, and it says even up here next to the twos. All the answers for all the even numbers are in the twos column. Kids trust the twos. So you find the answer in the twos column. You go down to the four, and you put a four right next to it. Empty box four. Or our simpler way is dot four. That's the pattern. That's all you need to do to create the fours. So, dot four, dot four. Okay? Continue that all the way down. And let's number these. One, two, three. And those are already numbered. How much are five fours? Twenty. Right next to it. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4 fours are 16. So kids never get lost. They're always grounded in the ones and twos when they're creating this system. All right, let's do the sixes. Go down to the six, put the six there, and the pattern is dot, dot, six. Kids go, hey. That sounds like the threes. 
Yeah, the threes and sixes are cousins. You know, they're related. It's the same pattern, they're in the same lines all the way down. So you just do dot, dot, six. That's two sixes, R12. You just continue that down, and you have three sixes, R18. Four sixes, R24. Ten sixes, R60. No problem. Creating all the times tables here. Let's do the eights. Go down to the eight and put the eight right there. All right? That's our eights columns. The tens will be there. Oh, well, look at this. We've got one dot, two dots, three dots. Kids love this. It's a simple, easy pattern for them to do. One eight is eight. Dot, 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 eight. Hmm. That, of course, we tell kids, is Beethoven. Dot, 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 eight. <laughs> and they go all the way down, creating dot, 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 eight. So two eights are 16, three eights are 24, eight eights are 64, all the way down. It's a nice, simple system that you can create. Now, some of the facts in here that are really fascinating are that the factors are, if you take 21, the numbers out here, 3 and 7, are the factors or the numbers that you multiply together to get 21. If you look at 24, and the numbers 4 and 6 and 8 and 3 are the numbers that you multiply together. So when kids learn factors, they've already created it. Easy way for kids to learn the times table. It's easy, it's simple, and it creates the times tables. And I hope many kids create it this way. Division is the same, looking at the same thing, it, totally opposite. So let's look at it totally opposite. Find a number in here, uh, let's say 20. Okay, 20, and you say divided by 4 is 5. Or divided by 5 is 4. So you take any number in the 1 and 2 column, for instance, 18, and you say you divide it by 6 is 3, or divide it by 3 is 6. It's so wonderful for kids to create this simple system that makes sense in their minds, because for them to own it, when they've done this, they own the number system, and they can learn whatever they need to. This is very visual. I'm just wondering, I remember 6 times 3 is 18 because I like, Absolutely. had it. So what yeah. takes you from sort of visual, which I think this seems to be more visual to the, how do you remember what six times three is, if okay. you're not looking at the... Well, there is actually a series of these where I, where I take out the, the numbers uh -huh. and people fill in each of the factor sets, so instead of, you know, dot four, dot four, it's four, eight, twelve, and it's the same numbers as the twos column, so you can put that together with with that. So when you're learning it, you can see what you're learning. When so many kids learn 7 times 8 is 56, they have no clue even what that means. Whereas here you always are anchored in the ones and twos and knowing what you're learning. Here is the top third of a completed easy times table. Pattern play math is a fun path to math. Go to MrNumbers.com for free worksheets and to see hundreds of enthusiastic testimonials.